j'aimerais jouer au Real Madrid. Moi, j'aimerais jouer au Barcelone. Moi, c'est celle-ci. Inter. Barcelone. Every young African boy's dream is to become the next famous football player like Adebayor, Dropa, or Eto, and play for the biggest football clubs in Europe. But even for those who make it to Europe, the road to Champions League glory is not guaranteed. This is Abu from Ghana. He came to Europe six years ago. We are the training grounds of Dutch football club FC Utrecht, Abu's former club. His friend Nana is still playing there. But for Abu, the game is over. I dreamed to come to Europe since I was like 15 years and uh, my professional career ended after one year. You have to be one of the lucky guys uh, to make it here because it's very difficult. Uh, here you don't have a family, you don't know anybody. But it's difficult, to be honest. Yeah. The group that I will never forget, Racing Mechler. It was a very fantastic group and uh, I did uh, quite a good uh, performance. Uh, actually, I didn't play very high, like Lionel you know, Messi or Eto or ACN or so. But yeah, still, I'm happy for what I did. Abu's football career has come to an end, but he has a new goal. A football academy in Ghana to train and inform young kids who all hope to become star players. Uh, these are all... Uh, materials of uh, FC Utrecht, which uh, the football uh, academy is going to use. Abu has convinced his former club FC Utrecht to support his new dream. The club participates financially and Abu is trained to become a coach. I already had this dream uh, since I was young, so I'm very happy to, to uh, 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 work, uh, collaborate with the owner of uh, FC Utrecht, uh, who is also willing to help, so I'm happy for that. The sheet you have is, is the first week we train. Yeah. And you see some testing and some measurements in a laboratory yeah, yeah. Uh, on a treadmill. Yeah. Testing and measuring and after that um, we start up with, with the group training. Let's go inside. inside. It's an idiot, one idiot. <laughs> this is uh, Nana, my uh, friend. A good footballer for FC Utrecht. So. so in February, I went with him to Tamale, and uh, yeah, we give uh, 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 trainings to the to the young ones there, and uh, it was really nice. So uh, what I have to tell them is they have to keep working and uh, not to be in a rush to come to Europe because uh, yeah. people might come and say, okay, I have this for you, I have that for you, yeah. but all you have to do is take your time and make sure uh, what you're doing is right. <laughs> <laughs> From Utrecht, we follow Abu on a small farewell tour to Belgium, where he used to train yeah, with Mama. the former Ghanaian international Francis Kumi. Hello. We pick up his friend Safiano, another Ghanaian football player, to join us. Coach, 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 coach. Coach, coach, it's a long time, coach. <laughs> Hey man, I, I miss you a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean, actually, this is my, my big coach. Eh? <laughs> and when I was in Brussels, yeah, he, he helped me a lot. Yeah, I helped yeah, me a lot. Training uh, yeah, to keep my feet. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it, it was really nice uh, to be under him. Yeah. He helped all yeah. of us. Yeah, actually. He's the right man here. Without him, we are nobody here in Belgium. Yeah, yeah. 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 without him. African players from all over Europe still come to Kumi's training sessions in Brussels, where he also advises those who may have legal problems in Europe. Uh, I believe he can, you know, so when I came here, I was trying to help him because the quality of this guy uh, is, you know, the same standard with the Ghana, play, Ghana players. I, I saw him playing, I know him. I also been there before, I played Ghana Blasters before. So I know the quality of this guy. That he can also uh, make it. But now he stopped. He stopped playing. He stopped playing professionally. Why? Why? Why did you decide to stop? I, I don't think you are. You, you are grown up. I mean, you are very young. young. <laughs> it's true, coach. 
But yeah, coach, uh, uh, just the same thing. What you, you you try to do for us, you, you were doing it uh, out of your heart, you know. Uh, you like to to help the young ones from Africa. Yeah. With God' grace, I had a chance uh, mm -hmm. with someone who is uh, trying to help me. Okay. With uh, all kind of financial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to set up an academy in uh, Ghana. So that's that's, one, that's, really, that's wonderful. Really, really the best thing I, I, I dreamed mm. in the future. Mm. So that is why I stopped football. <laughs> I now play just for fun and uh, I feel pretty, but all the same, uh, I'm still in football. That is what is very important. This is uh, Idi, my friend. He's a player for Kavi Mechla. We don't have family, we don't have a mother here or father here. It's just uh, we, we represent ourselves here. And See our senior man himself in the kitchen. We try to be a uh, family in the kitchen. So. Get up, get up! <laughs> if I, I see a very good player in uh, Ghana or in my project, I will advise him not to rush. Many African players end up by don't having the papers or uh, no work to do. Some also have luck, but it's, uh, it, it's sitting in our high head that uh, yeah, Europe is uh, there is money there. If you go, you make it. Benzema, come on! Is it also your dream to make it in Europe as a football player? Tell us about your dreams. Or do you have experiences as an African football player in Europe? Share your stories on surprisingeurope.com.